it's that thing again. I want a cheap hardware wallet. You know, I, I, I had a builder working for me and he wanted to be paid in Bitcoin. So um, I said, buy a hardware wallet. And he's like, yeah, they're a bit expensive. And I'm like, God damn it. I want to be able to give this dude a hardware wallet, which is, you know, works and is, is has like a nice GUI and stuff. And I want to be able to, to give him like, you know, I want it to be cheap, like really cheap, like cheap enough that I can just give it to him. Um, I know that goes against all the advice, which we as Bitcoiners, you know, <laughs> say to people that you shouldn't accept such gifts from people. But, you know, for, for, for an amount up until a few thousand pounds or dollars or something, I think it would be fine. And uh, so for LM Bits, for example, I want a cafe. I want to be able to go into a cafe and I want to be able to say, look, use this piece of software and accept lightning transactions for your coffees. And then when the amount in the wallet gets to a certain amount, like $100, it will use some other extension, which doesn't exist yet, but hopefully will one day, to loop out to an on-train address. That on-train address is on this little hardware wallet, which I'm going to give you. It's like £10, you know, take it, whatever. So now, because I find a lot of people who have these cafes and bars and they want to accept Bitcoin, they want to just build up a little stash. And then at some point in the future, they'll want to access that stash and send it to some exchange, probably to turn it back into fear. That's probably what they want to do. Um, uh, or maybe they just want to keep it as a, you know, as a as a uh, um, a hedge against the you know, economy's collapsing, whatever else. Uh, so this is just a way to be able to go, you know, to lots of different cafes, bars, whatever, and say, here, oh, here's, here's, here's a piece of software which you can accept Bitcoin transactions on. Here's a piece of hardware which you can um, uh, manage your your private key on, so you don't have to have it on a piece of paper, or on a computer, or on on your on your phone, or you don't have to have this expensive hardware wallet uh because you're not going to do huge amount of transactions um so this is something i can give you know i can just give to you uh and then hopefully then over time you know they'll end up running their own LM bits on their own node and you know they'll have a maybe a multi-sig thing going on so this is in fact where seed signer do a great job of this um which is another sort of hardware wallet project um where they use raspberry pi zero uh, so they they focus entirely on multisig, and they, the concept is if you have these hardware wallets, you know, like your Trezor or your Ledger, or whatever, the the huge um, uh, attack vector is the supply chain attack. You know, this factory which are making these things, they know they're going to become Bitcoin hardware wallets, and yes, they test, and and also hardware wallets, which most likely will have like a, a decent amount of money on. You know, um, it's rare that somebody's going to spend you know eighty dollars on a hardware wallet and not and, and put you know hundred dollars on it they're most likely going to put a few thousand dollars or a few hundred thousands of dollars on there so um you know, i don't want to spread fud but we need to be aware that you know these factories which are making these hardware wallets yes you know on the production line they'll pull off you know every other 50 or 100 or whatever to, to test it to make sure it's legit and nothing's been added to the hardware um and they'll have some but there's, there's always ways of hacking these things and the factory which is making these things knows they're going to be bitcoin hardware wallets so that kind of scares me so i think c signer do a great job of, of using it for multi-sig um so then you have something you know off the shelf which isn't subject to hardware attacks uh um you know it's something which isn't going to be built into a raspberry pi zero because the likelihood of your raspberry pi zero which is being sold on a, on a shelf somewhere then being used for some bitcoin thing is is very slim um so i think that's probably security wise i mean i you know i think that's probably only really necessary if you're you know have a great deal of funds like having a multi-sig with a, a hardware wallet and then a, a off-the-shelf hardware wallet but i think that's a really secure uh, model um, and i would like to do a multi-sig uh with the the, the bowser wallet at some point but for now, you know, I'm just sort of dicking about playing around with the PSBTs and, and storing, you know, a few thousand pounds, dollars worth of funds on there and just having like something cheap you can give to somebody where they can just manage a small amount of funds 